All right, here with Joe Hills, and we got all of our materials, and Joe is gonna attempt to help me figure uh, something out. Mm-hmm. Well, the way I see it, the biggest part of brainstorming is just saying stupid things until one of them accidentally isn't stupid. And man, can I say a lot of stupid things. Yeah, I, I'm pretty stupid though too. I think I'm stupider. Well, that's that's the benefit of brainstorming is that our stupidity combines and we can find this beautiful place in the overlap where it just kind of magically creates a good idea, even though everything we're putting in is kind of terrible. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. I'm I'm a little distracted right now by your helmet. I'm. Do they not have that little? See how that little nose thing that makes me look like I have red eyebrows? Oh yeah. Your your that type of armor doesn't have it. Uh yeah, cause it's a hood. Do you want to try it on? Yeah, you I can, all of a sudden here, go ahead and only on care on. about that and don't want to. <laughs> Let's see. Can you make this yet, or do you, no, can you, you only get it? Oh yeah, now I can see your hat and everything. That's way better. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, you All can right. only get I it from a... killing zombies. But if you go to like the zombie farm, did you just throw the iron helmet back at me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> did I did I really do that? <laughs> He's just like, no, I'm keeping this. You can tell I'm pooped. Have you tried streaming by the way yet with the new uh, streaming thing? Yeah, I have. Um, I, most of my segments are kind of shorter, um, and so mm -hmm. it didn't make a lot of sense to stream everything, but. I'm kind of probably going to do it in such a way where, like, I might stream for, like, 12 minutes a day at random times, and people who show up get to show up, and people who don't, well, you can watch it on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. not the traditional way of streaming, but they clearly added this feature to be untraditional. Now, I see that you're starting to cut away at the walls of your tent here, and one yeah, thing it's... that jumped out at me with your tent is it's the classic triangular camp tent. Mm -hmm. Have you considered a more military style uh, four wall tent, which has like four, it has like a box with a triangle on top. So if I go ahead and put like, this gets us actually back into the modern look for the server. You, you put some sort of colored glass panes here on either side for your walls of your tent and maybe do these three high and then you start the triangle on top of this. So you have, like, a roof that's above this. Yeah, you know, somebody, I think somebody was saying there's, like, a, a Dutch or Norwegian, like, tent or house or something. It's kind of like that, too. So that's that's interesting. The yeah, possibility. It, um, as far as also color themes, I was going to probably stick with just the colors that were from the Mesa stained clay, which I have in this chest down here. Okay, well, let me uh, go ahead and get this out of the way with my silk yeah. touch tool. <laughs> And let's see, I've got a couple. I don't have that much. To be but honest, the, the olive green um, glass pane, this is the lime green, so it's a lot flashier. But uh, olive green it, does show up in the mesa biome, doesn't it? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. It's I just use the cactus green. Any. Yeah, there might be from the cactus. Sorry, I'm just it ripping would up match your with your, um, with your your UFO thing, though. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, they don't have to be identical. Let me uh, go grab some cactus green out of my place, and we can dye some glass for you. Fair enough, fair enough. So with this Twitch thing, have you, like, streamed normal streaming before? I've never done streaming, so I'm, like, a complete stream noob. Yeah, I've done a lot of streaming before, actually. I've been streaming maybe five or six years um, before I was streaming video games because the software wasn't good enough to show game footage, really. I used to yeah. stream myself drawing comics, and... Uh, me and my friends would That's draw neat. and talk, and we'd only have, like, five or six people in the chat at a time, but it was always fun. So it was really mm -hmm. cool seeing the technology catch up so that you could do games, too. Now, what can you... Do you, like, you can make it so that when after you stream, it will automatically record it and then upload it to YouTube? Well, what I do when I stream is I use DX Story to capture... Um, the footage because the uh, footage that gets uploaded to Twitch isn't as high quality mm -hmm. um, So that way I'm assured that the YouTube stuff looks good But I mean you could I'm just trying to think of what what could be the easiest way is there It's to the point where I could all you have to do is press F6 with the new snapshot Yeah, I could just press F6 anytime I want it would automatically stream it and then when I was done streaming It would upload it to YouTube and you could really be that lazy 
You could. You could be very, very lazy. Okay, is this the lime? No, okay, wait. That would, it would still, I feel like, be an interesting test to see how much would it really matter if you were that lazy. Because if you think about how often you could actually get videos up to take advantage of both platforms. I'm going to get rid of this fire because I've run through this so many times. Yeah, as have I. <laughs> Dang it! I'm just I'm doing a terrible job of your lawn as well, but um, it it would definitely let you improve your quantity of videos posted. The thing I've mm -hmm. realized though is a lot of stuff that looks good on stream doesn't necessarily look as good if you're not live. Like people asking you questions or saying, "Oh, hey, it's my birthday," and you say "Happy birthday" back, and that's fun. That's good. You want to not ignore people, but you can't give them that same attention and have it be interesting to the YouTube audience. So with my uh, Super Hostile series that I'm doing right now, um, mm -hmm. one of the whole premises of it is that I'm using a version of Minecraft that you're not supposed to use on an old map and like how game breaking that is so i'm using the argument that the people in the chat are helping me with the power of friendship and that's game breaking so that kind of is <laughs> funny and it works but uh -huh. it's not um it's not like necessarily i still have to cut a lot of stuff out So, yeah, I'm looking at this but all at the green. same time, if you don't have, let's say you didn't have a YouTube channel and you go and do this, there's also the argument that something's better than nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, there's, there's, different, um, there's different ways to look at this. I was looking at this from the perspective of King Daddy DMAC, who already no, has a YouTube no. channel. No, for a random fella who wants to just make stuff, you can make stuff and you can make stuff fast. And one of the most important things early on with making stuff is to make stuff fast so you can iterate and make changes quickly. That's why people prototype when they build stuff, because it's, it's good to be able to make rapid changes. So something that let you put out, like, seven videos a week as somebody just starting out, that's a great way to get a ton of practice, learn a ton, and just, you know, get things out. And it, I, I think it's perfect. But it being then here's the other thing: if you do go and look at King Daddy D, D Mac or Joe Hills, you can make a secondary YouTube channel that your Twitch linked up with, and that's was just for that type of footage. So yeah. that if some people are in the Twitch thing, they can watch that, and if it's going all the time, you start a twenty four seven Minecraft, and I guess it wouldn't be that delayed on YouTube. Well, I, I don't know. See. I like, some people would want that option, some fans, um, but I really feel like a lot of my personal strength with my brand is that I try to be funny, and I'm not going to be funny all the time. So sometimes if I tell a story that I, takes I three minutes and it isn't very good, the best thing I can do is just cut that story out. So... I think it would be worse to watch my unedited footage all the time. I don't know. But anyway, how do you feel about, like, kind of what I'm doing with this so far? Honestly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you hate it. I'll tear it down. It's just because it's glass. That's what's messed me up. Well, because it's modern. Like... Why don't you try putting the roof on it? Where, where's your... Do you have green wool? I think what messed me up, I've got that... that thing where you know when you have something in your head and then you just you get stuck on it um i do know if i take a step back and start from scratch and stuff it, it is interesting and then you're saying take that wool you know would a different color wool would like a lime wool look better with it well yeah i mean that's that's kind of part of this too or take some of this uh brown clay or whatever uh any of these mesa colors really here and with the olive Olive is one of the, like, most commonly occurring colors of plant matter in a desert like that, um, in mm -hmm. real life. Those colors are going to look good. Do you have more green dye? Uh, I have normal hardened clay. Let me, let me run back to my place, maybe. I'm really regretting making it only accessible via Enderpearl. Like, that was clearly a design flaw, but at this point, <sighs> it's kind of a running gag, so I'm just going to keep it. But yeah, it was... Never doing that with a base again. Because I also, now that I put the roof on it, it's too high. Oh, did I just overshoot it? Oh, you it's know what? Too Maybe you should it. have it have a beam going down, and then you're, it's like beaming something up to it, and that's your actual base. Yeah, I thought about doing that with a cow, like on a leash, um, like hanging below in a beam. Um, 
But if your issue is having to go to your house, you could make the thing that it's beaming up, like make a little chest room or something. No, very true. Okay, I don't have any cacti left, unfortunately. That's okay. So, so let me see. Uh, there might be some lying around somewhere. None of these gardens seem to have cacti in them, but I know there's a storage room just inside of the uh, portal area here. I can check. But yeah, in terms of in, in terms of people just joining uh, Twitch TV and making videos for the first time, this is going to be very good for creative uh, experimentation. And I, uh, I like the ease of it though. You just don't have to really. I don't know. I I don't take Twitch too seriously, so it's I don't really care that much. It's just something extra. It's in for that point, it would be like you know something's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. But I really enjoyed it. Like, I was surprised. I thought that it would be stressful and I just would run out of steam. But I was going strong for a while. And the few people that were there, actually, you know, they said it was I was doing fine. I think it's really hard, though, to continuously talk without, you know, and actually be able to get something done productive. Well, we practice that all the time, though, when we're over here making stuff. So you have no cacti either? Man. Nope. I okay. probably do over at the other spawn. Well, I'd really like to not run back to the, the other, other spawn base. if I can avoid it. Yeah. Let me see if there's like a desert anywhere around here. We probably can just not. not use green. And that would fix the problem. Well, the other thing is, like I said, the uh, green glass doesn't need to be accompanied by green clay. Mm hmm So, yeah, why don't you try one of the uh, darker Macer colors there? Well, it also, it's, it's a, I, I can also use a proxy and then be like, once I can afford it, I'll change it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, uh, do you mind if I put this brown stained clay underneath it to make, like, the floor of the tent? You or... do whatever you want, Joe. Thank you, like, D-Mac. I'll, I'll just stand, I'll stand out of your way. This is like working with Corrales. Have you ever built with him before? Actually, uh, I don't think I've actually built with him. I've done other stuff, but... When I build with him, I usually, I'll, I'll lay down some blocks, and then once I'm finished, he says, Okay, thank you, D-Mac. But that doesn't go there, and then he'll rip it all down and then redo it. <laughs> nice. That so, doesn't go there. I usually just stay out of his way. Like, it, it, it looks good, D-Mac, but no, not quite. But how about we do it like this? And it always ends up not a single block I set down actually stays. Well, I'm trying to preserve the core concept here as much as possible. Um, like, we've, you've, got, you've got tent... Here you got this this enclosure, mm -hmm. and I think that that works. And then we, like I said, we would just take that TP element and just shift the whole thing up. I really wish the carpet could go diagonally. Oh, I know it is like train tracks. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what color should we try up here? Um, I mean, I'm tempted to go back to the brown again, but I feel like that's a little bit too bland. We need to. Anytime that I'm making something, if it's not sufficiently bold, I try to, you know, not have it be terrible. So mm -hmm. I add things. Oh, you got red sand. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I was considering changing my entire ground to make it like a red sand. I don't know if I have enough, though. Yeah, I, I love the mesas. I love their look. And... I don't know how well that's going to blend, but I might Oh, try. this is awesome. This red sand stuff. This is going to go great with this. I'm just going to just... I've been tearing up your yard this whole time, but now I'm going to do it mm -hmm. on purpose. I'll grab a little bit more. So what have you been up to? How's the baby doing? She's well. We just had her nine-month checkup, and everything seemed to go pretty okay. Um, surprisingly, she hasn't really gained any weight since her last checkup, but she's gotten, like, taller, so I don't know what that's about. The doctor said it's fine because, like, apparently some babies, like, kind of pause their weight gain when they first get mobile because they're burning mm -hmm. so many calories just running around, and it'll catch back up, but, you know, we gotta keep an eye on that, so, uh... It's not, like, every woman's dream. She's kind of ahead of the game. Yeah, she, she's... Getting taller well, and not gaining weight. Yeah, she's getting taller not gaining weight, um... <sighs> 
But yeah, I mean, she's super mobile and she's super alert. So we don't think that it's a problem in terms of like, you know, she's not eating because we're feeding her. And uh, but apparently that's just something that happens with some babies. So we're going to keep an eye on it. Um, how, how old is she now? Uh, she's nine months. Okay, so she she's not talking to... When, when do babies start talking? Well, that's the weird thing, is it's not like they start talking all at once one day. It's more like, um, like for example, it kind of depends on what you define as talking. Because like when she was eight days old, my dad was like, Hey baby Corinne, say hi to your Uncle Peter. And she just looks mm-hmm. right at my brother and says, Hi. And <laughs> we're all just like looking at each other. Like, wait, hold on. None of us are sleeping a lot. Did she actually do that? And my dad is just like, what? Um, You know, because he's just being funny. He's just, you know, say hi to your uncle. And then the baby says hi to my brother. And, you know, so so like when people are like, well, she said her first word. I'm kind of counting that because we had a lot of witnesses. And like other times, like um, when she was like three or four months old, um, I was like, oh, hey, baby, did you have a good day while Daddy was at work? Um, did you go anywhere? Where'd you go today? And she just said, looks at me and says, Target. And really? I, like, stormed out of the room. And I'm like, Marion, 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 where are you? <laughs> did you take the baby to Target today? Marion, Marion. And she's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, did you take the baby to Target today? And she's like, yeah, why? Is that, am I not supposed to? And, she, she, and I'm so like, nutty. no, you, you can take the baby to Target, but she's not supposed to know to tell me that. Um, but like she'll, she'll only do stuff like that. Like every few weeks, it's not like an Mm -hmm. every day she's talking stuff, but I mean, she does say like mom and dad all the time now. Um, although she usually, uh, at first she called, uh, Marion hungry and me blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Like when she was looking for me, she, she'd look, she'd go to Marion and be like, blah, 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 blah. Like, cause that's Apparently. I'm sure it made perfect sense to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, hungry for Marion made sense, you know. Okay, so, I mean, this is a a pretty cool design, I think. It might not be... Why, can, why am I having trouble placing these glass panes? All right, so what if we do something where on the... I mean, I like the corners of the, gr- the glass. It's just being completely translucent. I feel like it might need a little more structure on the sides, like maybe where that is in the corners like that. Oh, actually, you know, that's uh, that's pretty modern looking. Having it jut out past where the corner is here like that, I think you kind of nailed that one. Yeah, I I like that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and actually grab more of this brown stained clay and now if I come over to these back corners and unfortunately we're hitting the fence but um, the, the fence is gonna come down it's just for protection while we're building oh okay cool cool but yeah this is already looking pretty sweet um, and once again you can tear it all down if you don't like it because I, I'm not gonna feel bad it's your house <laughs> but like yeah if I come back here then and just have this back part do the same Stain's glass is really cool. Oh, yeah. It is one of my favorite additions to Minecraft. If you stain one color, can you restain it back to another? No. And once it's turned, you can only stain it when it's glass blocks. You can't stain glass panes. Okay. So I'm not sure about about this cross beam. I don't know. Like, maybe... I just feel like, you, like all the modern houses have something like that. I actually intended when I was putting it here, I just didn't want to pick up the glass because I don't have silk touch. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to put it in one. Well, let's actually, what if we had it? What about something more like that? That's interesting. Um, And then you'd put, are you putting the glass then above it? Yeah, I was going to say I could even put it in above too. So, So I'm one pane short of finishing, but actually I can, I'll, I'll <laughs> use, I'll, I'll use a lime one at the top there just for, for accent. Oh, that's actually neat. You could do a strap of that. Um, it's kind of distracting, but I mean, it says tent, you know, it's got your bed inside. It's got the front flap kind of thing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it's not a, it's not just a tent. It's, it's a, a modern structure. 
I don't know. Do you feel like we need another color in there? Maybe we yeah. could. I think we could do every, another. Every modern house has quartz, it seems like. Yeah, but I mean, well, it doesn't absolutely have to have quartz for it to be, you know, modern. But mm -hmm. let's see. What other materials do you have? I'm assuming you have some quartz, otherwise you wouldn't have brought it up. Yeah, I've got some quartz I actually on me here. You know, maybe doing the floor in quartz would work. Cause like that where the, where like the white instead is? Of, yeah, instead of the wool. You'd wait till they're able to stain quartz. That's going to be the day. Can we stain quartz in real life? I don't, I don't, or is, is that just marble at that point? I don't even know. Could be. I, I love the smoky quartz that they have in the modded packs. Oh yeah, that, that stuff looks so That is what I've been cool. waiting for. Let's see. So here's here's with quartz. I think the wool almost looked better and it made it more recognizable, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know, what do you think? I think I liked the wool better as well. Um, once again, the quartz makes it seem more modern, but like... In general, it's an interesting enough structure. You know, maybe use the quartz for, like, a fire pit or whatever. Instead of, like, you had, you had like, cobblestone over there or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Use the quartz for that. Oh, there you go. So. The modern campsite. <laughs> modern camper. I still feel like it needs something. What it, do you think? You, um, you can't do posts in different colors yet, can you? Wait, wait, wait. Do you have glowstone blocks or glowstone lamps? No. Um, let me check if I have glowstone back at my base. Hold on, I'll be a minute. I have 11. I have enough to make a few glowstone. Well, I'm going to... Because we're going to have to light the top of it anyway so we don't have a Mumbo's house situation. Yeah, no, I'm going to... You put torches on that. What do you think of that? We need to see how the woods... I'm actually the... running up to my house right now, so okay. I can't see it. Uh, I just hit a torch with the uh, with the ender pearl instead of, you know, my house. Uh, You've got to do something about that. Are you, are you, like, living out of that right now? Yeah, but it's too? hilarious how terrible it is. And I have a strong affinity for things that are terrible but hilarious. So it kind of cuts both ways. Um, oh, okay. So I think I I think I figured out how we're gonna pull it together. Um, combining um, glowstone blocks and mm -hmm. uh, an actual block of that glass on the top to make a little skylight on the roof, like in the middle of it at the peak. Does okay. that make sense? Because. We could do, I, I don't know Ooh. if that looks like poopy or not, but... That's interesting. Doing those, you can put torches... Oh! oh what? Oh, oh, it scared me. I heard the creeper sound. Yeah, he, he was coming up behind me just he as I enderpearled. He's, he's tracking you. Yeah, I don't know if it looks good all the way up and down like that, but you can put mm. torches on top of each of those posts. Well, like I said, I've got um, glowstone here, so let's count off how many of these... There are. This is one, this is three, this is five, this is seven. So if we cut into the middle one here and put in your skylight, mm -hmm. then we cut into this one here and this one here, and we put in your glowstone. Mm -hmm. And then we can actually take... Hmm, yeah, let's see. Uh, so that'll keep the roof from having stuff spawn on top of it. And it'll give you light directly down to the center of the home. I don't know. You like that better than just doing this? Or something like that? And this would... No, not at all, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just silk touch this stuff back up. Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is why we prototype. Because everything, like I said, it's, stuff is going to be terrible. And we're going to keep making it until it's, you know, well, coincident. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It, it was pretty bad. Well, it's it sounded good. It seemed good. It was it, it seemed like it worked, but you know, I'm I'm sure. Oh, I don't feel bad about it being terrible. Okay. I see as that as, as a natural part of the process. No, that like I said, I go into this expecting things to just not work, and then I keep redoing them. So, 
The thing about the wood is the wood is, like, not modern at all. All right. What I about... think the nether brick fence might be oh. a lot better because it's going to be, it's that dark color. Yeah, let me see if I have any nether brick. Oh, well, you can just cook your nether rack um, if you need. I've got some charcoal here. Okay, I'll throw I'll throw a stack of nether rack in there. Cool. I have charcoal to your grill. Okay, so there's that. Another another thing just to throw other things out there. There's mm. the stone fences also. The stone, whatever those are called. Yeah, I don't think the stone will integrate well with the mesa look. The wood seems out of place, and I think the stone would too. Well, it's do it doesn't have to be. I just, I just try to see what what things look like while we're waiting. Do you like it at least better than the the wood, or? I, I see them as equally poor. Equally? I, I really okay. think that the nether brick is going to be the only one that would work. Um, I hope. I want to see it. Let's see. We've got enough for four. Because it might also just clash colors. Where well, it's like kind of close, but not. We'll, so we'll see. No, because it's, it's, it's going to come out as a darker shade of what we already have in a good way, I think. All right, so we have one brick. So we need six of them to so make the fence. That's what the color. That's not too bad. Yeah, and, and especially because it's not going to be a full block once we actually get it up there. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to look a lot better. Hmm, so just looking through what you have here, one thing that might look kind of cool while we're just kind of generally landscaping mm -hmm. would be, since we don't have enough red sand anyway for everything here, we just kind of throw in a few patches of clay yep. kind yep. of with the sand. Just kind of give it a uh, a mingled look. Nothing. It's not like we're making a path out of the clay. It's just naturally kind of how the terrain was formed. Mm hmm. Hmm. The red clay might work better for this than the natural hardened, but the natural hardened does look pretty good. Oh well. I'm not a huge fan of it because it looks like those meat blocks to me, and it's just. What do you mean ugh. meat? <laughs> they have the, the oh meat the meat blocks, blocks. <laughs> the flesh. Yeah, let's pull the That's flesh out of the though. ground. It's like, it's nasty. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> okay, okay. That's that's cool. We can continue to prototype that while our stuff cooks. What about the, the light gray? Ugh, that's kind of even grosser. That's like, ugh. It's like A dead skin. A lot of the skin. clay colors, they're, they're not... They're actually good if you're trying to do, like, pixel art so you have people's faces, like, for different flesh tones, kind of. But mm -hmm. it's oh. like the white looks pink, the... A I do kind of kinda like these. Off. And it, what I do about, like that. I think that if we, like, mix these up a little bit more, actually. So, like, mm -hmm. let's say that we have a few red, and then I throw in, like, one or two orange. Mm -hmm. Just kind of mixed in. Oh, the orange is probably the one I should have gone to, like, right away. Oh, yeah, okay, that's awesome. So you see how that all kind of comes together pretty neatly. And mm -hmm. it just kind of gives it a, a different texture. I'm going to pull this red further out. They don't all need to be adjacent to each other. You could throw, actually, quite a bit of more orange in there just to get more sand. Oh, yeah. It definitely would look cool. Just to save it. I'll take another trip to the mesa soon. So let's see. This looks pretty good here. We'll just kind of throw these throughout. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm already feeling good about this decision. So this actually makes... The brown goes well with this whole palette here. And mm -hmm. at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's part of the ground in the same way the other ones are clearly part of the ground. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. kind of a win. Okay. What other colors are in the mesa? Could even throw some yellow in there, but I don't know how that uh, Yellow would be too distracting. It's too far from the base tone, I think. All right, we got six. See how these look. Great. We are just working in parallel, like I don't know them people who drift in that movie with the kaiju. 
<laughs> I forget the name of it. It's like something about the ocean in the Pacific. Oh, Pi Life of Pi. Yeah, the hunt for the life of Pi I, I October. Know. Oh, the life. Okay. No, uh, I love Pacific how I never Rim. know what your your <laughs> reference is. I'm just like, what? Go Hills. So how was not going to Minecon this year? Terrible. Not my favorite thing I've had to do, but are you going to PAX? Uh, it's not looking good. Okay. But you know, I I well I don't have a take. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really want to go. It's it's close enough to where I live, but I don't know what to do. Whether I'm going to have to try and bum a ticket again. Put or... in a panel application. You think I'm big enough to be able to get a panel now? I got a panel. That's how I got in last year. Who do you talk to to get a panel? Um, you, it's on the do? it's on the PAX website. Just fill out a form. Now, you, what if I say I'm going to do a panel and then don't actually do it? That's really know? bad professional. <laughs> yeah, they'll know. That is that is. <laughs> do you really want? You work in the games industry. Do you no, really I know. want I'm to just, have like angered hundreds of fans? Like, you know, I'm not a huge if deal, but the room that we were in, fans. we filled. <laughs> I mean, granted, Good and Slowpoke were there, too, so that might have helped a little bit, but, you know. So that's the other thing, is get other people to be on the panel with you who you already know who are cool. So, I I think the torches, like, the torches themselves don't look good. Being so close or being... Being made like, out of wood, only had... like, just the color of the torches. I think what we really want to do is take the two... Um, glowstone blocks that I've got and turn them into those crazy glowstone lamps. Do you have any redstone here or should I run back to my base? No, I got some redstone. Uh, whoa. Should I, how many, what is it, four redstone? It's four per each, so yeah, you All probably right. don't yeah, have I enough. Yeah, I got some blocks of redstone. Oh, cool. There you go. Ah, thank you. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and activate that. But yeah, my um, essentially, I'm still waiting to hear on some back from some people about jobs, and until I know that I've got something lined up, I just can't spend any money on uh, on travel like that, which really is unfortunate because I love seeing everybody. But yeah, you know, got to balance uh, every part of my life. So we used to go to a lot of different conferences. Mm -hmm. Well, that was before like, I had a baby, a and those are very expensive. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. maybe usually. F three to seven depending but yeah i mean not all of them are as expensive and some of them would comp me for like stuff so let's see it's a lot so, of weekends though yeah i mean but you know i'm not working on the weekend anyway like for my day job so it wasn't like it was hurting that yeah so let's see if we put something like this in whoops Or maybe the front block here would actually have the glowstone, like, at the very top. How, would that work? Let me... I'm trying to think about this, like, piece by piece. Oh, no, that wouldn't work at all because it would have to have the redstone lamp behind it here. Which is the second type of problem. How did that lamp burn itself? Did I tell out? you I met the person that you sold your ticket to? Uh, no, you didn't. I took a picture with her, and she's very nice. It's actually, I put it up on Twitter if you want to see. But she she came up to me and she was like, "Oh my God, you got to tell Joe Hills that uh, that I'm the person that bought his ticket, and thank you so much." And I feel horrible that I don't remember her name. Off it's the top it's of okay. My head. It's a <laughs> graphoniac, actually. Yeah. Um. We're actually doing a meetup in Nashville. It turns out she lives in Nashville, too. So really? we're doing a Nashville meetup uh, this Saturday, actually. So any fans who are listening to this, um, which I guess if this goes live tomorrow, then the event is tomorrow at 5.30 at Fido. Come see us. <laughs> um, so if you're watching this video, you probably missed it. You, you should, no, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you need to get in your car right now and run on over to Fido. So, let's see. I want to break that torch down there. I can't even wire this. This is how terrible I am at redstone. I'm having a hard time with this thing. So, then we go ahead and put this like this. 
and this like this. And how do you feel about that, DMAC? I think it's fabulous. Awesome. All right. Well, why don't you guys tell us what you think? Is, is, is this a keeper, or is this just too too modern? I'm trying to think of like what the opposite of a keeper is that still rhymes with keeper. I know it's not beeper, although most people have thrown their beepers away by now. So yeah, is this a keeper or is this a beeper? Are we all on the same page? Or I don't know. Uh, sorry, or sleeper, jeepers creepers. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Is this a keeper or is this a creeper? Should we blow it up? Ooh. Okay, cool. (laughs) So we should probably wrap it up here. Uh, Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.